Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see how to create and render value box. Value box is another way to represent important set of values, statistics, or key performance indicators. The way it differs from info box is its appearance. Also, you can see that it value box does not have a title. It does have a value, a subtitle, the icon on the right hand, right hand side. We'll start with UI.R and load the required packages. So we'll load Shiny and Shiny dashboard packages. We'll see three new functions. We create the value box using value box function. We render it in the server side using render value box function. And then we use value box output in the UI to display the rendered output from server.r. If we go further down in the dashboard body, this is where we'll create the tab page. Within tab items, we've got tab item, and remember the tab name was VB. In this, if you recall, we had two flu fluid row items. So the first fluid row, we have got value box output. We had four of them in, in the first fluid row. And so you can see four times value box output one the first one second one third one and so on what we have inside value box output the first argument we have given is the value box output object this is coming from server.r and we'll see in just a couple of minutes i've defined the width as three so that's how the width is defined in this case and this is defined for all the value box outputs in the first row. You can see all the value box object here. Similarly, in the second fluid row, we have got three value box outputs. The first one here, I've got the object output object name and then the width, width is defined as six. And for the other two value box output, I've got width defined as three and three. And obviously we have got the value box output object here as the first argument. In the server.r, we've got the sample data set. We are generating 50 random numbers to be used for calculation and displaying few statistics in the value box. I've got here the first value box. This goes with the first fluid row. And we are using the render value box function. Within that, we are creating the value box using value box function. We give the value as minimum of the dataset values. S is coming from here. That's our sample dataset. So we are saying minimum of this sample data set. That's what we want the value as. And we have given a subtitle here. Similarly, we have got another value box with the maximum value. And we once again used value box to create the value box. And we used render value box here to render it. And we have given a subtitle for maximum value. Similarly, the third one with the standard deviation and if you notice in this one, we have given the color as yellow. That's what gives it the yellow color. The two value boxes here, which we had, there was no icon defined and also there was no color defined. So it took the default color. Let's go see further down here. What I've done is I have got another value box for mean mean of the data set values. And I've defined the icon here using the icon function. And then I've got defined the color as purple. 